dear students today i am going to solve the some numericals on the force convection okay here the first thing to distinguish between the force convection numericals and the free convection numericals in that the force convection numerical that is always having the velocity if the in the numerical the velocity is given then we have to think that it is a force convection numerical whenever if the velocity is not mentioned then that is a natural convection numerical okay here one numerical will take that is a air at 25 degrees celsius flow fast flows fast a flat plate at 2.5 meter per second velocity the plate measures 600 mm into 300 mm okay its width and uh, length are 600 and 300 mm and is maintained at a uniform temperature at 95 degrees celsius its surface temperature is 95 degrees celsius calculate the heat loss from the plate from the plate the heat loss we have to find out if the air flows parallel to the 600 mm side first if the air flows parallel to the 600 mm side it means its length should be taken as the 600 mm length then how would this heat loss be affected if the air flow is made parallel to 300 mm side okay here we if we make the flow parallel to the 300 mm side that means l we have to take the 300 mm side length then width will be become say 600 mm for that what is the amount of heat transfer okay uh, we have to find out that is the effect when we make the uh, flow in parallel to this 300 mm side and uh, later whatever this uh, temperature uh, the heat transfer difference that may also find out for the particular numerical and given that as we will write as it is a pore convection and fluid is a air and flat plate it is okay then that is the force convection the fluid type and the flat plate tube okay vertical surface or horizontal surface like that given that as we should consider and m and fluid 25 degrees celsius okay that is velocity u is given 25 meter per second wall temperature 95 degrees celsius length 600 to 10 raise to minus 3 for first case it is and for second case that is a width it is 300 mm side in the second case the width will become say length find q if the air flows parallel to 600 mm side and second one q if air flows parallel to 300 mm side and percentage of heat loss okay that uh, later we are finding that the uh, the average temperature of that one fluid we have to take the average flat temperature of the fluid wall temperature plus of here minus is there but it's not a negative it is a addition that one average of these two you have to take the average temperature as 125 125 degree uh, by 260 degrees celsius by typing while typing this is a mistake okay that you correct it average temperature that is a fluid temperature it is take properties of air at tf 60 degrees celsius from HMT data handbook. Okay, page number thirty-four. This is uh, Kozandrama data handbook, and page number twenty-one for the Hagler and Nirajan Murthy. Page number twenty-one from Hagler and Nirajan Murthy data handbook. Okay, from that, if you take the Prandtl number sixty degrees Celsius, the Prandtl number will be point six nine six new kinematic viscosity eighteen ninety seven ten raise to minus six meter square per second. Thermal conductivity K equal to point zero two. 896 then reynolds number for this 600 mm length if you take then vl by nu or rho vl by mu okay that whatever we can take the vl by nu directly will take that is a new properties that is 2.5 into 10 rest, into 10 uh, my 0.6 by nu 18.97 actually here also little mistake is there 18.97 into 10 rest to minus 6 from that reynolds number 7.91 into 10 raise to 4 we are going to get this is less than 5 into 10 raise to 5 okay that this flow is laminar okay less than 1 into 10 raise to 5 whatever is that that is laminar flow greater than 1 into 10 raise to 5 that is a turbulent flow okay whatever is below that one that uh, uh, laminar flow we are going to consider then as for the particular length we have to find the result number 
that is the for the particular length means it is a local Nusselt number okay whole length if you want to take that one that is the average Nusselt number okay but here local Nusselt number in UX from the data handbook we can take there is a data in 0.332 RE raised to point RE X raised to 0.5 PR raised to 0.333 okay this is the whatever this local Nusselt number is there then local Nusselt number at uh, any L as L if you take then that can be given as the same that is a 0 0.332 RE raised to 0.5 PR raised to that one we are going to get from that okay that uh, we can get that from the Agrand uh, Arrangement of the Data Handbook of uh, page number 69 this equation we are going to get here if you substitute RE L already we have find out Prandtl number also we know then if you substitute that one Nusselt number we are going to get here then Nusselt number can be given as Nusselt number can be given as that is a uh, HL by K that one okay from this one this is a local Nusselt number then average Nusselt number will be twice of that one twice of that one twice we have taken here then average Nusselt number in you or in you bar in you bar that one 165.52 that given as the HL by K then HL by, HL by K whatever is there that uh, from that H bar we can find out H or H bar from that okay and you already know and K also know L is a length 6 one then H bar H bar is 7.989 you know watt per meter square Kelvin then normal heat transfer whatever is there by the convection that equation we have to use here to find the whatever the heat transfer is there that is the h bar a delta t okay area will be width and the length wl h wl tw minus t infinity that is 7.989 into 0.6.395 minus 25 that will give 100.66 watt then second one if l equal to 0.3 then width is 0.6 parallel to 300 mm side that one okay there Reynolds number changes Reynolds number will be Change. Reynolds number VL by new whatever is there that can be written as okay velocity is 2.5 and this is uh, L is 0 0.3 this 18.97 into 10 raised to minus 6 this 3.95 into 10 raised to 4 it is a laminar flow only less than 5 into 10 raised to 5 from the data and book again from the page number 69 of the Agada and Niranjan Murthy local result number can be written as new x is equal to 0 0.332 x rex raised to 0.5 frontal number raised to 0.333 okay then nel can be written as 0.332 rel raised to 0.5 pr raised to 0.333 okay then nel we can find out by substituting uh, Reynolds number and the frontal number nel gives 58.48 this is the uh, local Nusselt number then average Nusselt number is uh, given as nu bar u is equal to 2 into nel the, that is the 2 into the 58.48 that is a 116.96 then any bar that uh, can be given as HL by K here H you have to find out then H bar can be H bar or H can be uh, given as the NU into K by L then substituting all these H or H bar can be 11.29 mat per meter square Kelvin then heat transfer okay uh, we can find out as a q2 there ha delta t h into w into l tw minus t infinity this h is 11.29.6 into 0.3 95 minus 25 then q2 is 142.25 watt then percentage of heat loss from that one okay as this is a, a lower rate of the heat transfer is the higher rate second case the higher will be the heat transfer then the what will be increase in the heat transfer we can uh, find out okay increase in the heat loss from the when we change from the 300 mm length to the 300 mm that is q2 minus q1 by q1 into 100 that if substitute then percentage increase in the heat transfer when we change that is 600 to uh, 300 that will be 14.32 percent okay then we'll go for the another numerical okay the second numerical is uh, air at two atmospheric pressure and 200 degrees celsius is heated as it flows at a velocity of 12 meter per second through a tube through a tube 
ओके एंड विथ ए डायमीटर ऑफ थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स ए कॉन्स्टेंट हीट फ्लक्स कंडीशन इज मेन्टेन एट द वॉल एंड द वॉल टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस अबव द एयर एट एंटायर टू अबव द एयर एट द एंटायर टू कैलकुलेट ओके द हीट ट्रांसफर पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ ट्यूब द इंक्रीज इन बल्क टेम्परेचर ऑफ एयर ओवर फोर मीटर लेंथ ऑफ द ट्यूब टेक द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एयर एयर द प्रॉपर्टीज आर डायरेक्टली गिवन प्रांडल नंबर पॉइंट सिक्स एट वन म्यू टू पॉइंट फाइव सेवन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस फाइव के जी पर मीटर सेकेंड के पॉइंट जीरो थ्री एट सिक्स वैट पर मीटर डिग्री सेल्सियस सी पी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव जूल पर के जी कैलविन एंड फर्स्ट थिंग वी हैव नॉल्स नंबर फ्यूएल फी डी बाई फ्यूएल बाय न्यू और ए फी डी बाय न्यू फॉर दिस ट्यूब और ए रो फी डी बाय म्यू ओके देन हियर द रो इज नॉट गिवन रो कैन बी फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम द दिस फ्रेशर इज गिवन टू एटमोस्फेरिक फ्रेशर देन पी बाय आर टी देन पी दिस इज टू इंटू एटमोस्फेरिक वन एटमोस्फेरिक फ्रेशर देन इंटू हंड्रेड 200 हंड्रेड दैट इज ए किलो पास कल वी आर गोइंग टू गेट देन दिस इज ए टू पॉइंट टू एट सेवन किलो जूल पर के जी कैलविन टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड द टेम्परेचर ऑलवेज इट टू हंड्रेड इट शुड बी इन कैलविन ओके देन फ्रॉम दैट द डेंसिटी वी आर गोइंग टू गेट वन पॉइंट फोर नाइन थ्री के जी पर मीटर क्यूब देन आर ई रो वी डी बाई न्यू देन रो वी डी वी वी वेलासिटी डी बाय म्यू Okay, that will give the twenty thousand nine thirteen point six. Here, for the flow over the uh, inside the tube, Reynolds number is uh, greater than two thousand. So the flow is turbulent, and uh, it is uh, less than two thousand three hundred. Flow is laminar. It is for the tube only. The tube it is a uh, two thousand three hundred. But for the plate, it is a uh, five into ten, one into ten raised to pi o. Okay, that difference is that that we should keep in mind. Then R is greater than 2,300 for flow in pipes. Flow is turbulent. If the fluid is flowing inside the tube and uh, is less than 300, uh, R is between the 2,300 to 12 into 10 raised to 4. We can use this formula. Okay, that formula is Nusselt number is 0.023. R is raised to 0.8. We are raised to 0.4. This equation we can Nusselt number we are going to get here. Already I we R we are having and Prandtl number also we are having. Nusselt number can be written as H D by K, where H we can find out that is the mean Nusselt number. Then heat transfer per unit line H average into area into T W minus T infinity and surface area of heat transfer pi d l it is. Okay, there is average heat transfer that is seventy two point five seven and pi d l d this one l length is unit. Okay, uh, then twenty meters of the length that is. Okay, twenty degree temperature it is. Okay, the twenty degree above the whatever the temperature is there. That above means wall temperature above the temperature that is there. The temperature difference is the twenty degree Celsius. Above that temperature twenty degree Celsius here we have to multiply to get the rate transfer per unit length. That means here the mentioned it is the temperature of wall is twenty degree above the air temperature. Okay, above the air temperature means. Air temperature, how much it is having? Okay, more than 20 degrees Celsius, it is having. If the difference we will take, then we are going to get this 20 degrees Celsius only. The second one, bulk temperature rise of the air over 4 meter length of the tube. Heat gained by the air passing through the tube of 4 meter length, we can write heat given by the tube for the total air that 4 meter length it is. Per meter length already we have calculated the here. For four meter length, the Q will be this one, and then energy equation here we can write rho A V, okay, yeah, sorry M C P, M C P delta T is equal to this one, okay, N M can be given as rho A V, okay, then C P this one, rho is density, A is area of the tube, and V is velocity, okay, rho A V rho into area into V velocity that will give us the mass. Mass then M C P delta T B, okay. Then delta T B only we know uh, unknown that we can find out that one. Here we can see that is rho A V is equal to M. Then this is M C P delta T, okay. And here V is the velocity. 
then from that delta tb we can obtain here 43.2 degree celsius okay the another problem here the similar there is a flat plate problem air flows over a flat plate at 30 degree celsius 4 meter into 0.75 meter long okay 4 meter and 0.75 meter long means length is 0.75 meter with a velocity of 20 meter per second as velocity is mentioned and the force convection determine the heat transfer rate from the surface of plate plate temperature is maintained at 90 degrees celsius okay here the 90 degrees celsius plate temperature and 30 degrees celsius is air temperature and here the nul for 0.664 rs to 0.5 prs to 0.333 for laminar flow and this can be given for the 0 0.036 rs to 0.8 836 PRS to 0.333. This is for the turbulent flow. Okay. Then here the solution properties of the air at a fluid temperature, T surface temperature, ambient temperature by 2, 90 plus 30, 120 at 60 degree Celsius. 60 degree Celsius from the air it is a fluid. That's why from the page number 21 you can have the this fluid temperature, fluid properties. That is air properties. 1.06 kg per meter cube density, thermal conductivity 0 0.02896, CP is 1008 joule per kg kilogram, PR is 0.696, nu is 18.97 into 10 raise to minus 6. Reynolds number can be given as VL by nu, V velocity is 20, VL is 7 pi as long is 0.75 meter long it is given, its length is 0.75 and 18.97 into 10 raise to minus 6. Here this Reynolds number we got is 7.9 to 10 raise to n power which is greater than 5 into 10 raise to 5. Therefore it is a turbulent flow. Okay turbulent flow for turbulent flow uh, laminar turbulent flow this is transition flow for that from the page number 23 this equation already here also that equation is given okay in the numerical only that for the laminar turbulent flow this equation for the transition flow it is a Okay, the turbulent entire leaf is much more than that uh, 5 into 10 raise to 5, then we have to use the turbulent flow equation. Then this equation, HA, uh, this uh, uh, Nusselt number is equal to this one, okay, that is HAL by K, then this Nusselt number can be found out as 35.8, then HA is equal to 35.8 we got here, that is the average Nusselt uh, heat transfer coefficient. Then Q is equal to HA into A TS minus T infinity. This is 35.8 already we determined. 0 0.75 length into 0 0.4 width and 90 surface temperature minus of the air temperature. 6 to 4.4 the temperature we got here. Okay. The, some more problems I will solve on this next class.